Students, we have come to the third tutorial that will cover topic 7 and topic 8. Now let us start with topic 7 and the title for this topic is Report Writing. By the end of this topic, you should be able to describe the process involved in preparing a report. Next, you'll be able to explain the style for report writing and write a report based on the format given. Unlike other topics, this topic focuses on the report writing process and the style of writing it. Research information has limited value unless it is collected and published in a usable form and presented to those who may apply for it. For these reasons, never assume that your job is finished if it requires a report writing. It is also your responsibility if you are working either in technical or non-technical sectors or involved in business to show promptly that your results are worthwhile and that you have reasons to believe the field will be advanced by your efforts. The only way to convey these thoughts is by writing a good report. Students, there are five major stages of report preparation. What are those? The first one, gathering the data. Report writing begin with planning the research program or report. An orderly investigation is, re is requisite for an orderly report. You should develop the ability to foresee the general content of the report before the program begins. In most cases, you should be able to prepare a prim preliminary report outline at the beginning of the program. Outlining should benefit both the report for, obvious, for obviously a well-prepared outline requires a carefully planned program. Now, during the course of the program, keep the future report in mind. Maintain orderly records as the data are gathered. The little extra time required to record the results carefully can be of great value later. Report writing is difficult enough without having to recollect misplaced and unrecorded data. Write out your opinions as soon as the data are obtained. Comparing these opinions with those based on hindsight will often help you to interpret the data properly. During the data gathering stage, consider how the data should be presented in the report and record the results in this manner. Any need for additional data will thus be revealed before the program is completed. Now students, let's go to the second stage which is the analyzing and sorting the results. This stage is probably the most difficult because it requires considerable mental effort to decide what you want to tell your readers. The beginning of this stage overlaps the data gathering stage, for data analysis should begin as the data are collected. But the bulk of data analysis must be done near completing the near completion of the program. At this time, re-examine the pertinent data and review your early opinions with respect to subsequent results. Students, during this data review, the program conclusions should be drawn. This is the most important step in report preparation because the conclusions are the reason for the report and the basis for report preparation. They dictate what to include in a report and how to organize it. Now, trying to organize and write a report without knowing the conclusions is like starting an automobile trip without knowing the destination. You will not know where you are going and you will never know when you get far enough to stop. Therefore, choose your report destination early by drawing and clearly defining the program conclusions before you, before you begin to organize and write the report. This is best done by first writing down all significant results in no particular order and then 
sorting them out so that the results pertaining to a common factor are grouped together. Once the conclusions are drawn, list them in descending order of importance. Students, selection of the data to be used in the report is another important part of this step. Choose only the data necessary to help your readers reach the conclusions you are drawing. Excessive data or data only loosely related to the conclusions will closer them and confuse your readers. Of course, do not hide contradictory results. When, okay. Students, trying to organize and write a report without knowing the conclusions is like starting an automobile trip without knowing the destination. You will not know where you are going and you will never know when you get far enough to stop. Therefore, Choose your report destination early by drawing and clearly defining the program conclusions before you begin to organize and write the report. This is, the, this is best done by first writing down all significant results in no particular order and then sorting them out so that the results pertaining to a common factor are grouped together. Once the conclusions are drawn, list them in descending order of importance. Students, selection of the data to be used in the report is another important part of this step. Choose only the data necessary to help your readers reach the conclusions you are drawing. Excessive data or data only loosely related to the conclusions will closure them and confuse your readers. Of course, do not hide any contradictory results. When definite contradictions exist, clearly alert your readers to this fact. Mm -hmm. Students, the next step in data analysis involves organizing the selected data into illustrations for the report. Sometimes, the figures and data prepared during the program can be used with only minor modifications. But, usually, these data book illustrations contain extraneous information. And they seldom are arranged to emphasize the significance of the data and the corresponding re results. For example, although data tabulated during a program are commonly arranged chronologically, that is not necessarily the best way to present the data to the reader. New figures and tables usually be must be prepared. So, the organization should be carefully considered because illustrations are one of the best means of emphasizing and supporting conclusions. After the illustrations have been prepared, write the significant points about each on an attached sheet of paper. What is the figure or what is the table supposed to show? How were the data obtained? Are there any qualifications to the figure? This information will be useful when you begin writing the report. Students, before beginning to outline your report, you may find one additional step useful, that is, writing a limiting sentence. This is a single sentence that states the subject scope and purpose of the report. It is an additional tool to help define the report's direction and limit its scope. Preparing a limiting sentence is not simple, yeah? It takes additional time and effort, but it is worthwhile exercise because it forces you to focus your attention on exactly what you expect the report to do. Students, now let's go to the third stage, which is the outlining the report. Outlining is a necessary preliminary step to report writing. It involves the planning needed to prepare a clear report that is logically organized, concise and easy to read. Without an outline, most inexperienced authors write reports that are confusing and difficult to follow. The outlining stage is a natural progression from the analysis and sorting stage.